Hi, I'm going to show you how to use isolated environment in Python for the UpMax HPC Center. That's part of uh, uh, multiple courses for multiple HPC centers. But I'll be focusing on Python for UpMax. So the reason you want to use isolated environments is because sometimes you have combinations of packages um, that work together well on their own, but then you have two. You, then you need two of those sets for two different projects. And with isolated environments, you can these two sets of conflicting packages can um, coexist. For that, you need a, vir need a virtual environment manager. The most well-known ones are Conda and VNV. I assume these two are synonyms for this talk. Um, so VNV it is. And we use VNV because it works on all clusters. The workflow is to create a virtual environment, activate it, use it, and deactivate it when done. The exercises are in a cookbook style, so I'm just going to do them. So the first is to delete all the Python packages that are installed globally, so not isolated but are available to everything. Because this defeats the whole purpose of using a virtual environment. Next step, we need to load some modules. Let's do that. There. And while that's ongoing, I'm going to create a virtual environment. There. Um, and it's trying to do stuff that's useless because I need to fill in my username here. And now it's creating a virtual environment called vpyenv, the virtual Python environment. I need to activate that thing using source. So I'm going to copy paste this command already while it's busy. I wait for it to finish. And now I'm going to activate it if I replace username with my own username. And we can see that vpyenv is there. So I'm going to show you two packages that we need. Um, one is a, a package called Colorama, which is not yet installed. Here we can see among the list of packages, Colorama is not installed. And we need Seaborn. Uh, let's see if it's installed, yes or no. In this case, it's installed. If it's not installed, you will need to install it. Um, so we're now going to install those packages. Um, you see that both are there because sometimes Seaborn is not there. So I'm going to install uh, both packages, although Seaborn is already in there. Um, but it's a quick thing. So let's take a look if Colorama is now part of the installed packages. And let's see if we still have Seaborn around. around. Yes, so they are both in now. Um, yeah, so using pip list, I've checked if the packages are installed. And now all I need to do is deactivate the environment. Deactivate. And now I'm out of my virtual environment. I'm now back in my regular environment again. And now the package Colorama is gone. And let's take a look at the package Seaborn, which should also be gone. Um, yeah, because this is part of the module. Um, there was the Python module we've loaded at the start. But Colorama is gone, so that's the purpose of this exercise. That concludes this exercise, this exercise about using isolated environments in Python um, for a course with multiple HPC centers focused on UpMax. I wish you a very good day. Bye!